So the question is, should somebody be giving melatonin to his young child, a very young child, because the kid's off the wall? I would uh, talk to a doctor about it. I'm not a doctor, and uh, I'm not going to uh, give a real opinion on it, but uh, we know if the child is overly hyperactive, not normally hyperactive, that's considered like a little bit sick and not, and, uh, not, no, not normal. So naturally, doctors will uh, recommend something to calm them down if it's not normal. But what's in the normal guidelines of what people call normal, that because the parents uh, are a little bit nervous and they, uh, they, they should not, they should take something instead of the kid. They have, <laughs> the, they have the story about this, uh, yeah, yeah. They have the story about- The kids about are all clapping. The, the chi- what? I said the kids are all clapping. The, chi- <laughs> the child in, in the- it had a story about the child who was very hyperactive in the class, and they tried everything, tried everything, and just it, nothing worked. Nothing worked. So they finally made a meeting, the principal, the, the parents, and the teacher, and the principal said to the child, from now on, we want you to bring your teacher a cup of tea every day to show that you like him and not act up in the class. And this little pill over here, you're supposed to take every day, and you'll see. You'll feed the teacher to his tea, you'll take the pill, and you see things will go wonderful. Okay, so, okay, he said yes. So when six months went by, and it was terrific. So they came to the principal, said to the final said, child, you see, you listen to what we said, and everything went right. So the kid said, no, I put the pill into the tea. So I said, some the parents sometimes have to take some to calm them down. That to be able to have a child, they have to have patience. Yeah. Who can I call? 